Cyclist squat, um, I'll be using the slant board. There are slightly different angles, but most are about the same. Um, if I find I'm being dumped off, I can actually stand with my toes down on the ground and heels elevated on the board. Otherwise, stand right up on the board. Because this is a knee dominant motion and not hip, I do not need to stand in my typical squat width where I'd be sending my butt back and my knees out. Instead, we're standing right at hip width, feet in, hip width, and then I'm gonna squat torso staying tall, letting my knees come forward. So I'm not reaching my butt back, I'm dropping straight down, slight turn over the hips, and then letting those knees come forward, keeping my torso nice and vertical, ensuring that my heels stay anchored to that platform. I'm not coming forward onto the toes. And then as I come up, setting the goal of trying to keep that torso nice and vertical. So again, feet, hip width, toes forward, knees are going forward, butt goes straight down, torso stays tall as I go straight down and straight back up, feet staying nice and firmly planted on that slant board. This can be done with load via a goblet, easiest, so I'm just gonna be holding this here, same thing. Knees coming forward, chest staying up, trying not to tilt down as I come up. Keep that chest up tall, knees forward without the heels leaving the platform. 